Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Hopeful Chewbacca back at the Church of Chewbacca, and today we're going to go over the top 10 best bullpen arms in the game. We've already done the starting pitchers. You guys have kind of let me have it a little bit about the top 10 list. I don't know. Let's see how this bullpen one goes, and you guys let me know what you guys think about this top 10 list. Like I said, we're going to come out with one of these a day, maybe two a day, depending on how much time I have to edit between work and doing other stuff with my wife. I don't know how many of you guys know my wife's pregnant, and we are expecting our son in February, so I gotta get some stuff ready for the nursery and stuff. Um, that's actually one of the reasons why I haven't been posting videos on a daily basis. I've just been doing so much stuff around the house, as well as having to go back to actual work in an office compared to working at home uh, during the original COVID times. Now that I filled you in kind of why the videos have been slacking a little bit, I'm gonna try not to do that anymore since I got a lot of stuff caught up in life. But please hit that subscribe button, give this video a like or a thumbs up, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm uploading more videos, as well as don't forget to comment down below as it helps the YouTube algorithm. Let me know what you guys think about this top 10 list. Once again, there'll be several honorable mentions before we get into the top 10 list. Let's get into it. Honorable mentions. The first guy up on the honorable mentions is the relief pitcher for the Kansas City Royals. It's his prime card, Wade Davis. He's a five-pitch repertoire. For those, a four-seam fastball cutter, knuckle curve, sinker, and slider. Has a very good pitch speed differential, as you can see, between the four-seam fastball and the knuckle curve. The thing is, he doesn't throw a changeup. That's why he's on honorable mentions. He does have the 125 max hits per nine, 117 K per nine. Very good home runs per nine, so a great offline card. His control is a little lacking, too, with 81 control and 72 base on balls per nine. As you guys know, bullpen arms, it's very important to have good pitching clutch. He has maxed that, too. Either way, we're laying them in honorable mentions. There's just so many bullpen arms, especially with the finest 2020 cards that came out. The Stage 4 Team Affinity has got like four, five, six, seven starters and relievers that are just nasty pitchers. So Wade Davis was definitely in the top 10, got bumped out with the last wave of relief pitching that has came. The next honorable mention is Giovanni Gallegos. And essentially, he throws a four pitches, slider, four-seam fastball, changeup, and sinker. Very good pitch. It just doesn't throw that hard. Has a unique release. He's a right-handed pitcher. Plays for the St. Louis Cardinals. Looking at his 90s, 124 hits per nine, 122K per nine. Great control, 89 control, 91 base on balls per nine. The 114 pitching clutch for a bullpen arm is good. It's not really what you want, though, this late in the game. I think you're looking for a guy that's like Max, but I would take 114. If you guys are a St. Louis Cardinals fan, throw this guy in your bullpen. You can take out one of the guys in the top 10 and have Gallegos in there. It's not that big of a deal. I think he's a very good pitcher. The next honorable mention is Brad Hand. He's the closing pitcher for the Cleveland Indians. He doesn't throw that hard. He's only going to throw about 94, 95 miles an hour. He throws four pitches. A slider that goes 81. Four-seam fastball goes 94, 95. Then the sinker and curveball. Decent uh, pitch speed differential. He just doesn't throw that hard. A lot of guys are saying they really like him, though, It only being a 98 overall. He has 122 hits per nine, 114 K per nine. Very good control at 93 control, 99 base on balls per nine, 109 pitch and clutch. I think it's a card that could be very usable, especially if you need a left-hand reliever. The last honorable mention is a 99 overall Andrew Miller. He only throws three pitches, a slider, four-seam fastball, and sinker. If you would have a changeup, Andrew Miller's probably top five, in my personal opinion. Great release, easy to pitch with. He is a left-handed hurler. I mean, you guys can tell from the picture. It's labeled right there. Honestly, him missing a changeup just really hurts this card. 122 hits per nine, 125K per nine. Good control at 94 control. He's a guy that's actually sitting in my bullpen right now. I haven't used him quite yet this year, but I plan to use him. And I think that he can be a very good lefty. I always like the Andrew Miller. I just think there are 10 better options. I just need a left-handed guy in the bullpen. Number 10. Kicking off the top 10 is the Oakland Athletics closer from this season. His finest 2020 card, Liam Hendricks. His right-handed throwing as a five-pitch repertoire. The Aussie throws the four-seam fastball 99 miles an hour. He's going to have a slider that goes 88, a curveball that goes 84, two-seam fastball that goes 93, and a change that goes 88. So he has a very good pitch repertoire, throws those five pitches. He has a sneaky release point, good delivery if you're pitching with him. I Like I said, the release point I think makes it a little bit harder to hit. He has great nines. 125 max hits per nine, 125K per nine, 109 base on balls per nine, 99 home run per nine, so great offline, 116 pitching clutch and 85 control. 
Really think this Hendricks is super underrated. He's going to be a guy that's in my bullpen for sure. Because I don't know if a lot of other people are going to rock with him. I'm going to rock with him. Put him in your bullpen. Number nine. In the nine spot, we have Nick Anderson, closing pitcher for the Tampa Bay Rays. I know I mentioned before when we were doing the top 10 from the stage four team affinities that he really got rocked in the playoffs. And honestly, it was me going through forums and stuff and seeing a lot of people loving this Nick Anderson that put him ninth on the list. Because if you know, if you looked at my stage four, I had Hendricks one above Anderson because I think they're kind of together in talent level. But I put Anderson above Hendricks in this one because a lot of people seem to love the Anderson more than Hendricks. I personally like the Hendricks better, but I'm a man of the people, so we'll give Anderson a nod here at number nine. He throws four pitches, four-seam fastball, curveball, sinker, and slider. It's going to go about 99 miles an hour. He's going to throw his curveball 83. I really wish he'd have a changeup, but he doesn't. Looking at his attributes, 125 hits per nine, 125K per nine, max like Hendricks. 86 control. He does have better pitching clutch at 125. And of course, the 96 base on balls per nine. I just think that he is a very good closer. I I don't will not have him in my bullpen. I don't like throwing with him, but a lot of people seem to love him. So we're going to put him at number nine here. Number eight. I think everyone can agree that Mariano Rivera is the best closer to ever pitch in Major League Baseball in real life. However, the card did not translate to the video game as the best card in the game. That's why I got him at number eight here. Obviously played for New York Yankees, last man to wear 42 in the league before it got league-wide retired. He, I mean, he still wore it after it was retired by the entire league. Obviously, number 42 is Jackie Robinson's number, if you guys don't know the history behind it. Go look it up. Uh, Jackie Robinson was the first African-American to play in Major League Baseball. Definitely broke down that color barrier. Back to Mariano Rivera. He's right-handed throwing, and he was famous for his cutter in real life, and his cutter's his primary pitch here. It's going to go about 96 to 97 miles an hour. He throws a four-seam fastball. It's going to go about 98. A sinker that goes 94. A slider that goes 88, and a changeup that goes 83. So he's all the necessary pitches. It's just he doesn't have the best nines. And for whatever reason, because he's been in the game for a while, I think he was a third or fourth inning boss, a lot of people hit him pretty well. Now, his prestige card is a top three card. But we're going no prestiges here. We're going just base diamonds in the sense of it's just what the regular diamond is. I got him at number eight. It might be a little bit low on the list. I just think there's better options that have come out there a little bit harder to hit at better change of speed on the pitches but I do think this Rivera should be in everybody's bullpen if you have him his price is a little bit high now he's over 300,000 I believe he has 115 hits per nine 110k per nine 105 base on balls per nine 99 home run per nine 125 pitching clutch and 91 control so it's just one of those things I got him at eight maybe it's a little bit low on the list you guys let me know in the comments down below maybe he should be in the top five maybe he should be in the top three but I got him sitting here right now at the eight spot Number seven. So this is the lowest rated card in the top 10. It's the 97 overall Araldis Chapman signature series for when he played with the Cincinnati Reds. Obviously, he's the Yankees closer now, and for whatever reason, he can't seem to not give up clutch home runs in the playoffs right now. I mean, if you look the last couple times that the Yankees have been knocked out of the playoffs, it's been Chapman lighting up a late home run that's been the difference. And you're looking at a left-handed thrower. He throws five pitches, a four-seam fastball, sinker, slider, changeup, and two-seam fastball. He does have outlier one, so he's going to throw 102. Then his sinker's going to go 97. His slider goes 90. His changeup's going to go 87. Now, his live series card does not have a changeup. You can literally play with this Chapman just throwing his slider and his four-seam fastball and still be successful. And then you throw in his great pitch repertoire and then his nines at 125 hits per nine, 125K per nine. He does have a little bit of control problems at the 79 control and 64 base on balls per nine, but he has the max home run per nine at 99 and 125 pitching clutch. Number seven on the list, one of the best left-handed relievers in the game, and he's in my bullpen. I think he should be in yours as well. Great price right now for under 50,000 stubs. Number six. Another signature series card, it's the closing pitcher for the Los Angeles Dodgers, Kenley Jansen. Fun fact about Jansen is the first game that Kershaw pitched in the minors, Jansen was the catcher. He's actually a converted catcher. That's probably why he doesn't throw like 100 miles an hour as a closer. But just a fun fact, I don't know if you guys knew that or not. He's right-handed throwing. He's a switch hitter with the bat. 
He has a cutter as his primary pitch, so it's going to go about 96 to 98 miles an hour. Then he throws a slider that goes 83 miles an hour, a sinker that goes 95 to 97, a changeup that goes 87, and a four-seam fastball that goes 96 to 98 miles an hour. The reason this Jansen is six on the list and above Mariano Rivera and Araldis Chapman is the cutter-slider-sinker combination that he has, and then on top of that, a changeup is ridiculous. Like, literally, his cutter and sinker are the same speed, and they go opposite directions, and he has a four-seam fastball that goes straight, and they all go the same speed, makes them very hard to hit, and you throw in the slider that's slower than the cutter but gives you the same exact movement pretty much. Oh, by the way, he has a changeup, as I've already mentioned. And then his nines are 121 hits per nine, 125K per nine, 91 base on balls per nine, 85 home run per nine, 125 pitching clutch, and great control at 92 control. So it's just one of those things where I think the whole combination of the card is absolutely amazing. And that's what got him at number six on the list. Number five. So to start off the top five is actually we're keeping it in LA, baby. We're going with the 2003 Cy Young winner, Eric Gagne, closing pitcher. He's only 98 overall. He's right-handed throwing. He has a four-seam fastball that's going to go 99 miles an hour. A Vulcan change that goes 84. Then he has that super slow looping curveball that goes 71. A splitter that goes 86. And a slider that goes 86. Honestly, this Gagne plays way above his attributes. I'm not even sure how he's only at 98 overall, but he has 125 hits per nine, 125K per nine. He has 80 base on balls per nine, 95 home runs per nine, 125 pitch and clutch and 79 control. Honestly, the control can be a little bit of an issue, but with his Vulcan change curveball splitter combination, he throw a very hard four seam fastball in there. He's pretty unhittable if you're a good pitcher. Now, he is a closer that's been the game for a while, so there might be some guys that pick up pretty well on him. But I got this guy at number five. And once again, guys, these bullpens are so close when it comes to these pitchers. Like, anybody in this top ten, if they're in your bullpen, you have a end game top end reliever. So if you're like, man, I only got like the five through ten guys in my bullpen. My bullpen stinks. Like, nah, dude, you have a really good bullpen. Don't worry about it. Even the guys in the honorable mentions. There's even guys that input honorable mentions that are usable, suitable, like the Fernando Rodney or the or the Jake McGee. I didn't even mention those guys, and they're also usable bullpen players. Either way, Gagne's at number five here on the list. Sorry I went on a little tangent there, but I just want to let you guys know, don't get discouraged if you don't have any of these players on the top ten. I promise you there's a lot of good relievers in this game. Number four. In the four spot, we have Rich Goose Gossage. Everyone just calls him Goose Gossage, but his government name is Rich. I believe it's actually Richard, if I'm not mistaken. But it's a signature series card from when he played with the New York Yankees. He's right-handed throwing. He throws a four-seam fastball that goes 99 miles an hour, but he has outlier one, so it's going to go 102. Then a sinker that goes 95 to 97. A slurve that goes 87 miles an hour, and then a change that goes 85. So great change of speed for his pitches. He has a very unique throwing motion so it's a little bit hard to pick up off the hand and his slurves just nasty like cuts across the whole zone he has 124 hits per nine 125k per nine 77 base on balls per nine and 99 home run per nine 121 pitching clutch and 79 control and he has 41 stamina so if you want to use him as like a long reliever he can throw a couple innings here i guess either way gossage is coming in at number four on the list number three I misspoke earlier when I said that Araldis Chapman was the lowest overall pitcher on this list. It's actually Garrett Crochet, and he's 96 overall, left-handed hurler for the Chicago White Sox. It's from his Tops Now card. It was a call-up card. He throws a four-seam fastball that has outlier one, so it's going to go 102, then a slider that goes 87, and a changeup that goes 88 with a curveball that goes 82. The reason I got him number three on the list, you guys might think I'm a little bit crazy for this, is honestly, he was free. Like, you didn't have to pay anything. It was a pack that was handed to you. I think that holds value on top of the fact that he's essentially the poor man's Billy Wagner signature series card. I mean, he has it. He just has it more than Chapman. Like, he's not as wild. He has a full windup. It seems like he throws the ball exactly where you want it. His changeup has some nice movement. He throws a good curveball. And he's left-handed. And you need some left-handed relievers. That's probably the biggest value, is there's not too many... A++ left-handed relievers, and Crochet is one of them. 
and Crochet is one of them. So therefore, he's getting number three on this list for the nod. And you're looking at his hits per nine. It's 120. K's per nine is 113. Base on balls per nine is 87 with 78 control. Now he only has 94 pitch and clutch. But this Crochet, I don't think you're using him at the very back end of games. I think you're going to in sixth, seventh, eighth inning. Maybe in not too high pressure situations. But he's absolutely going to be shut down in those innings. And he brings something different on the mound. And he throws very hard with just... He just plays above his attributes. This card's amazing. Number two. Speaking of signature series, Billy Wagner, closing pitcher for the Houston Astros, 99 overall, left-handed throwing. He's coming in number two on this list. He throws a four-seam fastball, has outlier one. It's going to go 102. A slider that goes 89, a curveball that goes 80, and a changeup that goes 83. Looking at his hits per nine is 122. Ks per nine is 125. Based on balls per nines, 85. 91 home run per nine, 125 pitching clutch, and 82 control. I mean, Crochet was at three, Wagner at two. Like I said, Crochet was the poor man's Billy Wagner. So you got to put Billy Wagner in a step above him at number two on this list. Before this other guy came out that's about to be number one, Billy Wagner was definitely probably the best relief pitcher in the game. Just he has a unique release to kind of have a hitch on it with that high leg kick and then he just snaps. Plus, you can't really tell out of his hands where it's going to be his four-seam fastball or one of his other three pitches. Number one. Taking a top spot on this list is the relief pitcher for the Milwaukee Brewers, Devin Williams. It's his finest 2020 card. He can get stage four team affinity for the Milwaukee Brewers. He's right-handed throwing as a five-pitch repertoire of a changeup that goes 83. Four-seam fastball is going to go 97 to 99 miles an hour. A cutter that goes 87. A sinker that goes 95 to 97 and a screwball that goes 83. Honestly, I think this Williams has the best pitch repertoire in the entire game for a reliever. Uh, You can fight me about it if you don't believe me. Honestly, it's just absolutely filthy. Throws it hard, then throws it slow. The changeup being his primary pitch, I think, is makes it super good. Like I it's so hard. When you try to hit the ball against him, it like doesn't go anywhere. On top of him throwing hard, like it's almost like Earl Hershiser, how I kind of mentioned that like he throws it and it zooms out of his hand and then you don't hit it very hard. Williams has that same effect. And then you're looking at his nines. They're ridiculous. Everything's max except for his control and his base on balls per nine. 81 control, 76 base on balls per nine. Everything else is max. 125, 125, 99, 125. The velocity and breaker, 99. And he even has 33 stamina, which means you can probably get two innings out of him if he gets out of a quick inning. Number one on the list. Maybe you guys don't agree with me. Let me know in the comments down below, but I really do feel that he is the best reliever, and it's kind of crazy that he came out and he's for free. Guys, that's going to wrap up this top 10 for bullpen arms. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this list. If you agree with it or disagree with it, I can't wait to hear your comments. As always, I appreciate all the support. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. You guys have a great day, and be safe.